Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing this Barista Coffee Co. And this one is going to be on the Caramel Latte. So I got this particular can out of a random discount shop called Quality Discounts. And it cost me 69p, which I guess is not too bad for a cold coffee drink. That you can pay a, a lot, lot more for these in other shops. So yeah, 69p is not too bad. So let's give guys a 4360 of the can. So we have quite a nice looking can design actually. So it's a 250ml can and we have kind of, I don't know what to say, but the, the back of the can or the main color of the can is like this, I guess it's like a really, really kind of off gray. It's like a pavement gray, isn't it? Or like a kind of really road gray or something, isn't it? So we have this kind of almost like a clay looking type of color. And around the top of the bottom, we have the uh, little bit of brown on the top of the bottom. Uh, on the bag, we have the ingredients and stuff, again, in different colors of brown. We have some lighter brown, some darker brown. And then on the front, we have quite a nice looking barista, you know, Coffee Co um, logo design and, you know, texture. It looks really, really nice. Just gives it like a really premium posh feel, doesn't it? And then we have the nice font, Caramel Latte, as well, and a couple pictures of some coffee beans down there. So yeah, just really, really nice logo font and design, really, for, for the price of the drink anyway. It just looks really nice. On the bottom, we have nothing, and on the top, everything's all standard and silver, including the pouring. Taking a closer look at the can, so we have two ticks down there. So we have milk and coffee, obviously, <laughs> uh, and then written on the back of the can. So, oh dear, I'll just shake well before opening. Yep, that's not going to go down well because drinks love to normally explode over me. Well, uh, that's not going to go down well. So we have no artificial color, colors, flavors, or sweeteners, which is a good thing. High protein, low fat, suitable vegetarians. Right, let's see. So has your get up and go, got up and gone? Treat yourself to this delicious iced coffee drink and put a bounce back in your step. Sterilized milk drink with coffee extract, caramel flavor, yep, semi skimmed milk, skimmed milk, instant coffee, natural flavorings, cool. Uh, sugar content, is 6.7 grams per 100 ml so it's it's a bit, bit more sweeter than some other these coffee drinks but you know some other coffee drinks are a lot lot more sweeter in terms of the sugar and stuff so this really isn't too bad and per 250 ml can we have 16.8 grams of sugar so you know not that bad and caffeine content is 23 uh yeah 23 milligrams per 100 ml which actually is on the lower side a lot of these cold coffee drinks generally contain around 40 milligrams of caffeine per 900 mils. This is way, way on the lower side, um, even less than energy drinks. Energy drinks are generally 32 milligrams. So yes, a lot, lot less than some other drinks. But anyways, it's nice and cold. I've got my ZL Studios cup, massive cup. So we'll pour another drink in there. So yeah, I'm worried this is gonna explode over me. So I'm just gonna get a, uh, let me see. I'm just gonna get a tissue. There we go. This is for my other drink actually. So. Let's see, we're gonna, um, actually, let me use another one. There we go, use a different one. So, yes, let's give it a good shake because I haven't shaken it yet. All right, this is gonna go everywhere. And it did say shake well, it doesn't just say shake gently, it says shake well. So I'm gonna do exactly what it says and then see if the repercussions as it goes everywhere. There we go, and it feels like it's gonna explode. Right. So, as I always say, hopefully it doesn't explode over me. Right. Oh, we're, oh, I think we're, ah, uh, no, there we go. I did save, a, okay. <laughs> a little bit did go into the tissue, as you can see, they can't really see, but it did go into the tissue there. So well saved there with the tissue. Right, although it still feels a bit pressurized actually. I don't trust this one bit. There we go, we're safe. Right. So we all know the color is going to be brown. And the smell and taste, we'll have to find out. Right. There we go. Let's put that to one side so it doesn't go over my desk. So yes, the colour is indeed brown, but this is definitely on the lighter side. Definitely not as, uh, definitely not as brown as some of the other kind of cold coffee drinks. But again, it's just the colour doesn't really mean anything. 
Uh, again, thickness wise, it's not designed to be thick. You know, it's not saying it's thick or because it's not a milkshake, it's a cold coffee drink. So, you know, we won't really moan about the thickness. It, it's kind of sticky to the sides a little bit, but like I said, it's not a milkshake, so who cares? So give it a close to smell now and see what it smells of. Hmm, it just smells of just smells of a generic kind of cold coffee, really. Can't really can't really uh, pinpoint the caramel smell. Yeah, it just smells of cold coffee, really. Which, you know, it smells a smell. Let's definitely hope it tastes more caramelly than it smells. So, nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, interesting. So initial reaction to the drink is, yeah, barely almost doesn't taste of caramel, um, which I guess is a bad thing, but I'll get to that in a little second as well. So sweetness wise, it's it's really not that sweet. For having that amount of sugar, it's really not that sweet. And like I said, compared to some other coffee drinks that have a lot, lot more sugar and are a lot, lot more, I think, say, artificial and refined in the flavour than you know some of the others this one just isn't as sweet and it's not syrupy or anything like that whatsoever it's just really not that sugary i was expecting it to be a little bit sweeter maybe with the caramel flavor and having a bit more sugar than some other cold coffee drinks but that really isn't that sweet whatsoever but the flavor itself well yeah it's literally just a another cold coffee drink in a in a can it barely tastes of caramel almost almost non-existent basically if this was labeled as normal coffee you would not think it's caramel that's how weak it is like i'm barely noticing the caramel flavor in the drink and that's a bad thing because you know it's meant to be caramel flavor but as a base standard coffee yes it's fine but it's going to be a flavored one and it just doesn't cut it you know yeah the drinks it's, it's nice and smooth it's you know nice and easy to drink and and the coffee base flavor itself does taste nice it tastes of nice coffee beans and all that you know i love coffee and i love cold coffee drinks but in terms of expecting a caramel latte drink nowhere just nowhere tastes what it should do in terms of the caramel flavor it's just it's just it's so weak on that caramel flavor it's just like what's the point like you know and maybe because it hasn't got any artificial colors or sweeteners this and that maybe that is turning down the overall sweetness and the caramel flavor of the drink but sometimes you just think Oh, you know, so what if it's got artificial this or artificial that? You know, it's a treat because I'm not going to buy that again because it doesn't taste of caramel. So, you know, some of these other coffee drinks that are way more refined that do taste of, you know, these really sweet kind of sugary flavors, you think, well, okay, you know, I'll buy them now and then to enjoy. Maybe sometimes that is better than saying, okay, I'm going to drink one of these a day because they taste of caramel, which they don't. So, and that's the point. People are going to drink this and think, well, it doesn't really taste of caramel. I'm not going to drink these again. So, you know, make what you will of that. But um, I'll try a little bit more and then we'll uh, sum up the video. Yeah, it's just almost non-existent caramel. It's just almost the slightest bit in there. But to be honest, if you said someone has got caramel, they'd be like, well, it really doesn't taste the caramel. So it is it is that weak in caramel flavour. But it's cold coffee, it's fine. So yeah, it just doesn't cut it for the flavour, unfortunately. But there you go. So for the caramel flavor, I'll give it a thumbs down because it doesn't taste of caramel, but it's just another bog standard cold coffee drink. It gets a thumbs up because there's nothing wrong with it at the end of the day, just a caramel flavor. So as always, everyone, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the description below. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, or you can check out my Patreon where minimum support is one pound to support me and the channel. And the money will go towards new videos, new content, and everything else. So as always, viewers, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.